there's croissants on these freaking towels. Ooh. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder. Oh my God, you guys, I look, oh, my back hurts so bad today, you guys. Ever since I did the therapy, the new therapy that they told me I was going to do, which I did, yesterday was my first day. They told me, they were like, you're gonna be sore. Oh my gosh. Like, I am in pain today. Like, it doesn't help because I, this morning, I woke up and it was like pouring all day. So, it's been just like a very bummy day for me. I literally threw on the t-shirt that I was wearing yesterday because I wanted to just clean. And, um... Tyler and I went for a walk with Lenny this morning. We were literally getting rained on, but we were like, whatever. And I'm trying to just, my doctor said that walking is really good for my back because of just, I guess, like the movement, whatever. I, you guys know I walk every single day anyway, so I've been trying to stay consistent with my walks. And when we got back, I started cleaning my office room because it was just a disaster. That room gets so messy so quickly especially with when I create like clothing content, it just becomes a disaster. And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna package orders. I packaged like 30 orders. And then while I'm in the room, I'm like, okay, well, let me start organi organizing all these clothes and doing like inventory checks and putting, counting everything and putting these boxes and stacking them. And that's what I've been doing. And it's about to be four o'clock. I've been doing that all day. And now my back hurts, which is lovely. I'm like sore everywhere. Like my abs are sore. Ah. My abs are sore, like just everything hurts. Everything hurts. Um, I found my yoga mat, so I pulled my yoga mat out because I'm going to try to start incorporating some stretches and stuff like that because my doctor said that yoga would be a very good form of exercise along with Pilates. Um, and then I organized like all of my like spring summer clothes out here, like the stuff that I know I'm gonna wear a lot. I put all my like spring and summer shoes. I just like cleaned everything up, I swept. I reorganized this whole thing. I um, took pictures of this perfume because I think I'm gonna put it up on Poshmark. I have barely any Nemat scent left. I organized my whole little table. Put this is a new purchase, which maybe I'll talk about it another day or something. It's a it's a uh, fragrance um, that's supposed to be like the sister of Bianco Latte. So I'll talk about that another day though. But I organized all of my makeup. My brushes, my hair clips, I organized my jewelry. I just did a whole bunch of organizing. And then I went into this room and I was, oh my God, my back. Um, don't mind all that. I have to wash all of this. I just have to throw it on the washing machine. But I literally went through every single box of this, every single box, and checked the inventory and counted every single item. And I was in here for hours. Hours. Um, and then I have all of these packages here, some more packages there that I'm probably gonna drop off tomorrow after I go to my therapy appointment. But I need to go buy shampoo, which I've already been saying for days at this point that I need to get shampoo. I'm also out of, um, about to be actually out of face wash. And I'm, like I just showed you guys, almost out of my Nemat vanilla oil. So I want to pick another one of those up just to like have in my collection because you guys know I wear that every single day layered with I was gonna say all of my perfumes But at this point I only have one freaking perfume and I literally look so bummy, but I just want to go real quick Get my shampoo get some face wash get like the couple things that we need and Come back home. I always want to like Bring the camera in but I be getting stressed out because there's so many people and it just like it really stresses me out. We'll see. If I can take you guys, I will. You already know that. If you guys haven't listened to Justin Timberlake's album, I mean, you're tri you're crazy if you haven't. But this song, Sanctified, this was like the first song that I was like, oh my god, this album. Yeah, oh my god, it's so good. Oh my god, it's so good. And there's something about Like, sometimes I wonder People that like don't enjoy music Or don't listen to like Like there are people that like They don't care to listen to music And I'm just like Do you not hear that? You don't hear that? And I'm always amazed at the fact that like Songs start from nothing And just like build up Until they create I You guys know I love music so much Music is such a big part of who I am but 
Wow. Did you guys know that now that I have a permanent uh, back injury, I can get my own <sighs> handicap like hanger, which we don't have hangers, Tyler's car or my car. We have the license plate. Um, <coughs> <coughs> because if you guys didn't know, Tyler, my husband is 100% disabled. <coughs> so both of our cars have um, handicap license stickers. But now that I have a permanent injury because of this damn car accident, I can get my own. Random. Anyways, I'm here. Okay, as usual, I did not film in there. Because, no. Nah, it just, it'd be too busy in there and too much going on. So my shampoo was BOGO. Um, it wasn't BOGO, I lied. It was half off. So I was like, well, I might as well get two so that I can get like a buy one, get one free type of situation. So... I just got the Go Shampoo. Um, I got a Vanilla Musk. I'm really annoyed that they don't have the roller in my Ulta. They only have the Amber and the Egyptian Musk, I think, in the roller. But I got the Vanilla Musk. I'm just going to put it in my spray bottle. And then I was looking at the way Curl Cream and the girl, this girl that was working there, she was like, Try this instead. And I, I told her, I was like, I don't like my hair crunchy. Um, my hair does not look as, like it doesn't look very wavy right now. But I was like, it gets really, really big. I don't like my hair crunchy. I like it really soft. So she was like, try out the small one. So I got the Curl Smith Moisture Recipe Hold Me Softly Style Balm. It's a styling cream for curly and wavy hair. It's supposed to define, bounce, define and bounce and it's a light hold. And she said it's all natural. So that's all I got. Looking crazy. So we just did a quick Aldi run because we needed to get more pumpkin puree for Lenny. So we bought just a couple of things. We didn't really need that much, so we didn't really spend much. We had to get dog food, cat food, stuff like that. But other than that, I figured I'd show you what I got. Tyler, you guys know him and his blueberry muffins. These I opened in the car. I destroyed them. I will be getting these all the time. They are sweet chili hummus crisps. They are disgusted. Shush, look like this. They are so good. I have to see if they have like flavors, because wow, really good. Shredded lettuce, just to have. We're doing burritos tonight, so I was like, I'll throw some shredded lettuce in there. Another carton of egg whites. One, two, three, four cans of pumpkin puree. Top that on Lenny's food. I got some black beans and some sweet potatoes. I've been loving, I've been like on a sweet potato kick and um, it's really good for Lenny too, so yeah. Um, we got a gallon of milk, which is over there. I don't wanna pick it up because my back hurts. Got this specially selected um, rosé from France. Thought I could try it, see if it's good. Then we stopped in Publix to get uh, the dog's food and the cat's food and I grabbed two grape olipops and Tyler grabbed OJ. So really, really small trip slash haul. Cause like I said, we didn't need much. We still have meat. We still have actually have a lot because I've been using our food so differently than like how I normally used to. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's see if the little cat is So yeah, oh. I've been doing a really good job at <sighs> No, that's nasty. Kissing. No. Delicious beverage. I mean, that's a stretch. I don't hate milk, but No, you do. I don't. I put milk in my you coffee don't every drink single day. Milk by itself. I used to. No, no. But I used to. I've seen you do it. Cool. Um, but yeah, I had liquid egg whites. I have a little bit left in these, and so I bought another pack or another carton just to have. Oh my god, look at my papayas. Hold on. Sorry, I'm having like ADD right now. Four papayas. I'm gonna bring some of these to. Oh, this one looks a little yucky. I'm gonna bring some of these to the 
uh, chiropractor office tomorrow if they want them. They they love when I bring them fruit. They love hey it. Hey guys, happy Friday. I made a coffee and he actually went to go buy grass because I'm not sure. No, I didn't show you guys actually. Okay, so you guys have seen most of the progress. So on Tuesday, Wednesday, he took out, there was two trees here and a whole bunch of bushes and then pavers going along this whole area. So he took all that out and we're gonna put grass there. So he's gonna put grass all right here and he's gonna finish grass in this whole section back here. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but the backyard just looks so much bigger now because there isn't like a whole bunch of random trees and shit. As you guys can imagine, Leonard running on that patch of dirt, he was like, I can't even let it, like it, I need to patch that up with grass like immediately because my entire house will be covered in dirty paw prints. I have a whole bunch of orders I need to drop off today. So I'm gonna put those in my car. I'm finally home from everything that I had to do. I'm um, extremely hungry, like super duper. So I'm about to make some food. I went to my therapy appointment and then um, they had me do some like physical therapy for my back. And then I went to Brendan's house and I picked up a couple of things. Um, this girl who is, I, I believe she subscribed to me as well. Her name is Courtney. She messaged me on Instagram that she sent something to like the BCHQ because she saw it and it thought, like she thought of me. How, there's croissants on these freaking towels. I love them so much, so if you're watching, I already wrote it on Instagram, but this is the cutest, most thoughtful. Like there's olives, capers, it looks like, those look like caper berries. Uh, pistachios, cheese, croissants. I am literally going to put these in my kitchen today after I clean. Um, and then I just had to pick up a couple things. I had to get more paper for the roll printer and a couple of body suits in like specific sizes. Look at the backyard, which you probably don't, like if you haven't been watching for a long time, you probably haven't seen, but all of this was rocks and dirt and trees in that back corner as well, like over here. So he just bought a lot of grass and put it there all the way around. So it's freaking awesome. Love that. You guys already know what this is. You know what that is too. It's the Olipop pour of the day. We got grape. My Publix really only carries usually grape and strawberry vanilla every once in a while. They always carry cherry vanilla, tropical punch, uh, the root beer, the vintage cola, the orange one. Um, they never carry cream soda. Sometimes they don't have strawberry vanilla. They usually always have classic grape. So I always just end up getting classic grape, classic grape when I go because that's always the one that I know they're going to have. Oh, so good. Wow. I made a black bean burrito. Black bean, rice, pico, Greek yogurt, cheese. Mm. Pro tip to my Taco Bell lovers. You guys know we're Taco Bell stands over here. No slander to Taco Bell ever. Save your hot sauce packets. The packets taste different than the bottle because I know you could get the bottle at the store. It's not the same. So anytime I make any sort of burritos, tacos, unless I'm trying to do like authentic Mexican tacos with just like meat, queso fresco, and like onions and cilantro, I go for this and then I just smother my burritos and taco about hot sauce. But I'm gonna eat because I have a call at 2.15 and I kinda wanna prepare for that. Um, my Bianco Latte comes today, which is very exciting. Like you said, it's exciting. My Bianco Latte comes today. 
I got. My Bianco Latte. Brand new. Look at the box. The box is so nice. I honestly don't really like the packaging of the perfume. I think that the actual perfume could have been done so much better than this. Like, I like this. I like, I like most of it, but just like, I don't know. I think they could have done a better job on this packaging. This isn't like the most beautiful packaging, but it's fine. This one, is there any even left? There's a little bit. Oh, so good. My friend just came over, like one of my best friends. There's this sushi place that we all always go to and it's it's not near me at all. Like to go there, it'd probably be like a 35 minute drive because it's um, like closer to my parents' house and um, they have the best crab rangoon ever. And I've been wanting it, but I just, it's so out of my way to go. And one of my best friends just came by and brought me the crab rangoon. And it says happy birthday on here with a whole bunch of little hearts. The view now from here is just so pretty because you can actually see the pool from the gazebo. And before all of this was like covered with, there was a big tree. I told you guys already. There was a big tree, a whole bunch of bushes lining this area. So like you couldn't even see the pool from here before. And now you can. But anyways, this is from... Shiso Sushi in South Orlando, like right before you get to Deerfield. Actually, I think it's in the Deerfield Plaza, but it's not on the right-hand side. It's on the left-hand side, and they have the best crab rangoons. I already ate three, but I'm going to air fry the rest to make them nice and crispy again. And this sauce right here, I don't know what the hell is in this sauce, but oh my God, it is delicious. Hey, guys. It's Sunday. It's also Easter. Happy Easter, happy Resurrection Day for any and all who celebrate. Um, I watched church online because I knew that church was going to be wild um, on Easter because that's the biggest day of the entire year. We had our little pool party yesterday and it was great. It was so fun. Well, it wasn't even a pool party. It was like six people. <laughs> it was very, very small. Um, but I got a whole bunch of flowers. My best friend brought me these gorgeous look at that color just beautiful and then tyler got me two little bouquets of peony tulips look at how beautiful that is um and then my sister got me a cookie cake and tyler got me nothing bundt cakes buntinis right there most of them were eaten and then my best friend brought me a regular bundt cake so it was just a good overall day it was cute but i'm waiting for my sister now to uh pick me up we're gonna go to my mom's um, Tyler's actually changing the oil of my car Give me a little oil change And I realized when I saw the date We bought our house today Last year so it's our house anniversary. But yeah just good day overall Tyler made me breakfast and I was just like Hanging out in bed while I was watching church um, I'm wearing my little Aritzia top I've already worn this thing like four times I got these new glasses I ordered them The other day on Amazon to wear for Like my birthday and look at How cute they are they have a blue lens Aren't they so cute? They're like a tortoise and then they have blue lenses, which y'all already know is my color. Good morning, everyone. Happy April. It's my birthday eve. My birthday is April 2nd, so I always call April 1st my birthday eve. Um, oh, I've been editing the past weekend vlog and I just finished, like I got to the end and it's only 18 minutes long after I edited it. So I was like, no, I have to, if I give them an 18 minute vlog, they're gonna be like, that was cute. What was that? Like, what was the point of that? So I figured I would just continue vlogging a little bit today. Tyler pressure washed our living room rug and oh my goodness, it looks so good. And just like bright and it's still drying. It's freaking gigantic, but he pressure washed it. Um, yesterday and left it drying but I have my physical therapy I do my physical therapy usually Monday Wednesday Friday so in the beginning of the day I that's literally how it's always gonna start I um, hope you guys had a good Easter and a good weekend if you're someone who celebrates if not I just hope you have a good I hope you had a good weekend when I come home I need to do my nails. Today is the day that I need to do them because my birthday is tomorrow and I need to have my nails done for tomorrow. And I think I'm gonna do them like a really pretty blue, like a periwinkle blue. And then um, I have a client actually. Um, I booked a styling client on Friday and she has me styling her for a trip to Puerto Rico. And during the trip to Puerto Rico, 
she's going to see Bad Bunny at the Choli, which is fire. I'm very jealous. So I want to keep working on that. I started working on it already on Friday. But yeah, that's probably what I'm going to get done today. I'll probably do a couple more orders for B and C just to have those done. And yeah, that's um, it. So I'm going to jump in the shower, go to my therapy, go to the post office, and then I'll see you guys when I get back. Outfit of the day for physical therapy. Black sweatpants. I always go in sweatpants. My Palermo's black tee. Oh, yay, and my car got an oil change, so we're, like, good to go. I always am very excited to get adjusted after the weekend. Because I definitely need it. Oh. Oof. Yeah, I'm excited to get adjusted, for sure. And I'm also excited to do my nails, because what is this? I also want to start looking up some yoga videos on um, YouTube. I'm gonna either look up yoga or just like workouts that I can do at home um, that isn't going to like strain my back because I'm not allowed to do any lifting, like no weight lifting, no nothing, which it's not like I do that anyway. I have in the past, like I have like, a kettlebell and like different things like that but just knowing now that i can't do that at all is kind of kind of sucks um so i want to figure out other ways that i can like move my body and exercise without putting stress on my back the walks do well i want to start running again too um so i want to see if i can get back into that i'll see you guys once i'm done because once i'm done it's straight to the post office okay just got out of my appointment I didn't crack very well, which kind of sucks. Um, my neck cracked okay, but my back didn't crack that well. Um, and they did a cold pack on me today after my decompression. Okay, it's time to do these nails. I can't wait. But since our carpet, our rug is outside drying, I can't sit on the floor. And normally I like sit on the floor and just like go for it. So I'm gonna have to sit on the table or on the sofa. Tyler's calling me. Hello. Hi. Hi. Okay, they did um, the decompression machine. They had me not do exercises like on my back. Bye. Okay, so this is the color that I am doing. It is from Beatles and it is the color A513. It's like a periwinkly pastel. I don't know why it's not focusing over there. Like a really pretty blue. So that's the color that I'm gonna do my nails. I will leave my whole nail routine video down below because I'm going to just like speed through this because it takes a pretty long time. Um, but I'll leave my whole detailed video below where it has every single thing that I use, um, the gel that I, like it has everything there. So I'll leave that video linked down below and I'm gonna get started on this extremely long process.
Okay, nails are done. Oh my god, it's almost like the color of my wall. Literally almost exact. Love that. Um, I'll leave the color link down below for you guys. It's from Amazon, and I love it. So now I'm going to get on my computer and get to work. I will show you guys what the lookbook that I'm working on currently looks like so far. I'm in the very, very, very beginning stages of it. Like, I've only worked on it. I got on a call with her Friday, and I did a little bit of it on Friday night. I know I've talked about it before, but since I hit 18,000 subscribers, I've gotten quite, like, a couple new people joined so i figured i would mention it um so i have a personal styling business um i have a website ivanacora.com and it's a styling business and essentially you can hire me book me for wardrobe styling um event styling basically just working on your overall wardrobe um, vacation styling i do a ton of different ones and for this specific project i'm doing a vacation um styling so for her she's going on vacation to i think i mentioned it earlier to puerto rico with her husband and while she's there she's also going to be going to the bad bunny concert so she wants outfits for the weekend along with like something to wear for the bad bunny concert so like we go over um kind of like a vision board lookbook type of thing um and then from there I write down all the notes that we talked about on the phone and then I started like I said I've only gotten a couple little outfits she said that she would be pro like two-piece sets um, so she can like mix and match things so I have a couple sets there I have some dresses some swim accessories um, like cover-ups little skirts things like that I'm obsessed with this one right here some bottoms she already has these jeans so I want to work that into her look and then you know a little skirt blah 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 here's a top and then tons of accessories. So like I said, I just started, so I still have a lot to go, but so far I'm really loving it. The accessory, pa accessory page is really doing it for me. I'm obsessed. So yeah, so now I'm about to continue going for it. I'm going to do um, one page of each of these. So one page of sets, one page of dresses, etc. And then after I find all of the indiv individual pieces, then I go in and start styling all the pieces. So from here I'll add pages and I'll start kind of reworking all of the individual looks and make outfits out of them so that is pretty much what i do and then i'll deliver this as a like lookbook let me see if i can preview it i don't know if i can okay so yeah it'll look like that kind of like a little magazine type thing with all of her pieces so yeah that is overall what i'm going to be working on probably for the next like three hours um, it's 1.45 now, so I'm probably not going to be done until around 4. Plug in all of this, um, all these missing video footage things, and then, yeah, that'll be the end of my work day. I took out some chicken wings to throw on the grill. I have a couple people coming over during the day. I think I'm just going to hang out by the pool, chill, and then um, Tyler and I are going to go to dinner. So that's the, oh, I'm so happy my nails are done. That is the roundup for today. And then if anything, if I don't vlog, I'll just pick back up vlogging on Wednesday. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope you had an amazing Easter weekend. And I will see you guys in the next vlog.